Chapter 2 A card and a train Are you Mr Khan? I asked the man in the shop. Yes, I am, he said. Do you know the man in this photo? Yes, I do. He lived in South Road. He worked here for two years. He was a good worker. When did he leave? Um, in January, I think, said Mr. Khan. I told Simon, you must move to a different shop now. I have six shops in London, and I need good workers in all of them, you see. But Simon said no. He wanted to work near home because he needed the money. He loved trains, you know. He wanted to visit Europe by train. I didn't see him often after that. But I told the police everything about Simon months ago. Who are you? I'm Simon's friend, I said. So, why did he leave? Do you know? No, I don't. He was always very friendly, always laughed a lot. Then suddenly, everything changed. He was different, sadder. Perhaps something happened at home, I don't know. He was very quiet. Simon's house is near here, number 26 South Road. Go and talk to his mother. She's a nice woman. She put up that photo in my shop. Simon was very good to her after his father died. He's a good boy. When did Mr. Jones die? I asked. Three years ago, I think. Are you really Simon's friend? You don't know him very well, Mr. Khan said. I thanked him and walked to the door again. Mr. Khan went to the back of the shop and made a telephone call. He couldn't see me. I took the photo of Simon from the back of the door and put it in my bag. Then I went quickly to 26 South Road. I needed to talk to Mrs. Jones. A woman opened the front door. She had grey hair. Hi, I'm Faye Friend, I said. I work for Sun Radio. You telephoned my studio this afternoon. Can we talk about Simon? You came. That's wonderful. Thank you. Please come in. Mrs. Jones took me to the living room. She made tea and sat down next to me. On the phone, you asked for my help, I said. That's right. Mrs. Jones put her head in her hands. She was very sad. I must find Simon, she said. What can I do? I'm not a detective, I thought. You can help me, I know. Please say yes, Faye, she cried. I thought of my family again. I really wanted to help her. OK, I said. I took Mrs. Jones's hand. Tell me everything. Why did Simon leave? Mrs. Jones looked up into my eyes and told me her story. Our family was happy for many years. Then my husband, Peter, died. It was a bad time for Simon and for me. I was very sad. But Simon really helped me when everything was black. Then something terrible happened. <laughs> Mrs. Jones cried again. What? 
I asked. Ten months ago, Simon found some old letters. They were from my old boyfriend, Jeff. My husband, Peter, wasn't Simon's real father, you see. Jeff was Simon's father, but he left me only a month or two before Simon was born. He didn't want children. Then I met Peter. He was very good to me, and we fell in love. Soon after that, Peter married me. He was a good husband and a good father to Simon. But Simon never knew the true story. After he found Jeff's letters, he was very angry with me. We didn't talk for two days. Then Simon left home. That was ten months ago now. Where is he now? I have no idea. But I can't live without him. I looked at Mrs Jones and thought of my mother. I'm going to help you, I said. But what could I do? My father was a police officer, but I work on a radio show. I didn't have any answers, but I knew Mrs Jones needed me. Thank you very much, Faye. Now, look at this. Two months ago, on the 21st of September, I was 50. I got this card on my birthday. Mrs Jones gave a card in an envelope to me. There was a picture of red flowers on the card. I opened it and read it. Dear Mum, I'm fine. Don't worry. Love, Simon. Now I had the phone call, the photo from Mr Khan's shop, and the card to help me. But I needed to understand Simon better. Mrs Jones, can I see Simon's room before I go? I asked. Yes, of course. I didn't move a thing when he left. Mrs Jones took me upstairs and opened the door of Simon's bedroom. I wanted to learn more about him. The room was very tidy, with a bed, a table, a chair and a computer in it. On the table I found some train tickets and a model train. I remembered my talk with Ahmed Khan. Simon loved trains. I looked at the computer and I read Simon's emails, but they didn't help. What could I do next? I didn't know. I thanked Mrs Jones and left South Road. I needed to think. I went back to the Sun Radio building.